I personally cannot wait to break down the dresses from this Sunday's Screen Actors Guild Awards, but we can't look to the future without celebrating the past. Isn't that right, Kelty? So true, Debbie, and while it is incredibly hard for me to pick favorites, I love them all. There is no arguing these most memorable SAG style moments. Kate Hudson is definitely all about the sex appeal on the red carpet, and this dress was great because it was all about the back. The year 2010, the designer Pucci, the wow factor, off the charts. I think a lot of actresses are afraid to wear white on the red carpet, but Kate wears what she loves and what looks great on her. HarpersBazaar.com's Chrissy Rutherford on white hot sag stars. I think Natalie Portman's Azaro gown was very simple, but it had some crystal detailing at the top and it was really chic and yet subtle. We'll have to wait and see how she dresses this year's baby bump, but Chrissy says expect the unexpected. She doesn't really stick to traditional maternity shapes. Like she really just goes for it and she always looks sophisticated. Another stunner from 2011 was Mila Kunis in black and red strapless Alexander McQueen. It had great movement to it and it really looked amazing when she was walking down the red carpet. In 2014, Lupita really stood out in this teal Gucci gown. I think the color was just so amazing on her skin, but also the intricate floral sort of 3D detailing was definitely unlike anything we had seen before on the red carpet. I think of the event and I think of what I feel would speak to that event. And, and then I, me and my stylist, we deliberate and we wear what we both like. <laughs> In 2015, Reese was best dressed in this sleek one-shouldered Giorgio Armani. But last year was the real fashion face-off. I just look at the dresses and I try them on and I pick the one that feels right. Brie Larson stunned in a corn blue Versace with Swarovski crystal rope ties. The other winner, Alicia Vikander. It looks so amazing. Who makes this? Oh, it's um, Louis Vuitton, Nicolas Yeskia. This dress was definitely unlike anything we really see on the red carpet because of the patchwork sequin detailing, but it was a definite statement maker and a dress we'll never forget. And personally, I have to throw in one more honorable mention, Emma Stone's 2015 tuxedo-inspired Dior gown. It was so different and so chic and so, so good.